Hey guys, Erwin Yusuf here over at Landers. Today we're talking about cheese. When you're walking down a cheese aisle in any supermarket or any market, you'll find yourself extremely confused simply because there's so much variety of it. There are over about a thousand varieties of cheeses in the world. 400 of them more or less come from France, about 300 or 400 come from Italy, 100 from Spain. It's very easy to get confused. So I'm gonna walk you through the main categories of cheese and probably the most popular ones that you already know about. So obviously the main ingredient in cheese is milk. Cow's milk, goat's milk, sheep's milk, usually you'll find a variety of it. Then there are three main categories of cheese. You got the fresh cheese, which are basically milk proteins that have coagulated, things like cottage cheese, some ricotta, usually with shorter lifespans. Then you have the cheese that have been aged with bacteria. So those are your hard cheese like manchego, parmesan, just to name a few. And most of them will vary in terms of names depending on the countries and at the same time, depending on how long they're aged. Third category are the cheese that are aged with mold. Those are the ones that you'll find predominantly in France. Brie, Camembert, blue cheese, all have different kinds of mold and are all aged for different periods of time. Now let's talk about the most popular ones that you probably know about. Cheddar being a big one. You can find cheddar absolutely anywhere. My favorite way to kind of taste it is, is in a grilled cheese. You'll have different colors of cheddar most of the time, going from soft and orange, just like this, to a bit harder and crumbly. Most of the time, that is due solely to the amount of time that it's actually aged. When you have a very, very orange cheddar cheese, that usually means that they're just adding annatto seeds to it, just to give it that little coloration. Mozzarella is also a popular one, usually made from buffalo's milk. It's a softer cheese used in pizzas, quite similar to your local queson pute right here. Queson pute most of the time is made from cow's milk, and again, it's just milk proteins that have been coagulated and form this nice soft cheese that is perfect for melting. Finally, a really popular cheese in the Philippines is queso de bola. Quick tip about queso de bola that you might not know about. It's actually not a Filipino cheese. It was probably imported at one point by the Spanish simply because a queso de bola in the Netherlands is called edam. Edam cheese is very popular in like the 14th century because it kept so long. And the general rule of it is it's basically aged for about 17 months in total. And it's usually covered by this really festive looking red wax and that's why it's really popular during the Christmas season. In France, you'll actually find bigger wheels of this called mimolette. So that just comes to show that different cheese in different countries will pretty much have the same process, maybe different sizes, but at the same time, they'll end up having the same flavor. So that was just a quick tutorial to kind of just explain to you the different types of products that you might find at Landers. If you have any questions or anything, please comment below and we'll get back to you. Once again, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys next time.